Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have a grocery haul for you. I did Walmart grocery pickup. I spent $109.32. I didn't need a whole lot for this week's actual meals, so I used this as an opportunity to get stocked up on some pantry items. So I'll show you what I got from Walmart and then I had to run into Publix to the pharmacy and while I was in there I went ahead and grabbed a few items that I wasn't able to get from Walmart either they were just completely out of stock on and I couldn't even add it to my cart or they weren't able to substitute it and then I'll show you our meal plan for the upcoming week all right so first I just got a couple non-food items I got some aluminum foil and then I got some of these sorry I got some of this oxyclean white revive I love that for our wipes some fresh strawberries some jalapeno peppers a lime some minced garlic a couple bananas, and then for the final thing of produce, I got some russet potatoes. And I think that's all the fresh produce that I got. I got one of these Fiesta Dip Ranches. Um, I love making this chip dip. It's got this sour cream and then shredded cheese and bacon, and I love to dip uh, just like ruffle potato chips in it. It's so good, so I kept that on hand, or I got that to keep that on hand to make that dip. I got two boxes of the Country Peach Passion Herbal Tea to make sweet tea. And then, like I said, I got several different things of canned goods and things for the pantry. I got a can of cream style corn, two of these small cans of peas and carrots, some canned spinach. Oh, and actually two cans of canned spinach. I got a can of this um, Bush's Taco Fiesta just as a quick side one night. I got a small can of whole kernel corn. I got a can of sauerkraut. And then I think I got four cans of these cut Italian green beans. I got two cans of sweet peas, two cans of sliced carrots. And then I got four cans of the cut Italian green beans, two cans of pork and beans, two cans of dark red kidney beans, uh, those are the other cut green beans. I got a can of chili no beans, and then underneath that is a can of chili with beans. I got two cans of the hot dog chili sauce. And then I got four cans of cream of chicken soup. I got two bottles of ketchup, one for us for now and one for the pantry. I got a box of rotini and a box of garden rotini. I got two jars of mayonnaise. And then I've mentioned this before, but I mean, I hate to say we don't really have a preference. I buy mayonnaise because I don't really know why. I think that's what we prefer, <laughs> but like, cause I don't really know that we have a preference, but I know my dad definitely has a preference. He prefers Miracle Whip. And so I'm going to be making some potato salad for this weekend. And so I'm making it with Miracle Whip. Um, like I said, cause that's just what my dad prefers. I got some all-purpose flour. I got three jars of tomato sauce. I got two jars of the tomato, basil, and garlic, and then one just traditional. I got four boxes of the thick and creamy macaroni and cheese. We were all out of box macaroni and cheese, so I got that just to stock up quick sides for dinner. I got two boxes of all gotten potatoes, again, just to stock up, have some quick sides on hand. This was a substitution I ordered one of the larger bags of rice and they subbed it for two of the smaller bags, which was fine. I got a package of hot dogs. I got two bags of peas and carrots. And then I've been wanting to try these and I keep forgetting. Tamara over at Southern Life Everyday Life has shown these several times on her channel. And like I said, I keep meaning to get them and I just keep forgetting. So finally remembered to get them today to give them a try. I got some milk, some frozen hamburger patties some frozen butternut squash and then I got some bacon for breakfast and sandwiches and things like that and then I got some hamburger buns some hot dog buns and then some Hawaiian rolls all right that is everything that I got at Walmart like I said I'll show you the few things that I got from Publix and then the meal plan all right here's what I got at Publix our total was $46.83 which I feel like is kind of a lot for just this little bit of items, but I mean, Publix is more expensive than Walmart or Kroger. Um, but like I said, I needed a few things that Walmart didn't have and I had to run into Publix anyway to go to the pharmacy. So I just went ahead and got the few items that I needed while I was in there. So I didn't have to make another stop. 
So first, Walmart was out of frozen peas and Publix didn't have any of the Publix brand, so I just got the bird's eye. Walmart was very low on their deli meat, so I got the turkey breast and chicken there at Publix. I got a loaf of French bread. If you saw last week's grocery haul, I got a loaf of French bread as well to make French bread pizzas. Um, but it, it molded after like two days. I'm not really sure why, but so I wasn't able to make the French bread pizza last week. So I've grabbed this today so that I can make that. Their Arm & Hammer uh, laundry detergent was buy one get one free this week. So I got some of the laundry detergent. I haven't tried their like little scent boosters, but I got that to try. Got some buttermilk. And then my husband was in Publix with me and we just happened to pass down the nut aisle and he saw these and wanted to try them. So he picked the honey glazed almonds and then the sriracha cashews. And then he has been seeing Kerrygold commercials lately and he asked if we could get some Kerrygold butter to try. So I got that. I needed some whipped cream cheese for recipe. And then I needed some cheddar cheese. Walmart did not have any. Uh, so I got their medium cheddar cheese block, two of them. And then they had a special on the Publix cheese. If you bought two, you got one free. So I went ahead and grabbed the Monterey Jack. I don't need this right now, but I'll just put it in the freezer um, for when I do need it. All right, that's what I got at Publix. Let me show you our meal plan. Okay, here's the meal plan. So first up tonight is Monday. We're going to have pumpkin pancakes. That's a mix that I got at Trader Joe's. That's a carryover from last week. Tomorrow night, I'm making a balsamic marinated flank steak with some baby potatoes and a vegetable. On Wednesday, I'm making Southwest tilapia. I've shared this before on my channel. Um, this dish is something that Logan's Roadhouse used to have years ago. But they took it off their menu or maybe they changed it up how they did it. But anyway, they if they do still have it, they don't make it the way that they used to. So I've done like a little copycat version that I like to make. So I'll make that Wednesday. Thursday, I'm doing baked chicken and then I'm trying a new recipe for the side dish for a, I think it's called cracked out pea salad. Friday, we're making million dollar spaghetti. On Saturday, we're having family over and we're doing a movie night and I'm going to make Halloween treats for that night. I think I'm gonna do um, like jack-o'-lantern cheeseburgers, some mummy um, jalapeno poppers, some chips, potato salad, and then I've got a Halloween funfetti mix, so I'll probably make cupcakes. On Sunday, that's Halloween and we're going to have pumpkin French toast and then probably like some bacon and eggs. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.